hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to convert text to, to speech in your C sharp using Windows form application so let's get started let me make a new fresh project for this uh, so I will go to new project I will select visual C++ Windows form application and I will name my project speech maybe recognition and I create my project in C sharp once your project is created just go to your solution explorer and right click your project and go to add references because for speech recognition we need to add some reference for speech recognition so right click your project and go to add references and in here go to dot net tab and search for system dot speech in here and just select this system dot speech and click OK and now I will create my form for speech recognition from text to speech so I will take a rich text box from here to here and drag and drop into my form and I will take four buttons one two three and four and I will change the text of these buttons first button is for speaking so I name this button as speak second is for pause so I will name it as pause third is for uh, resuming if my speech is paused so I will name my button as resume and fourth is for stop so fourth button name is stop okay so now my form looks like this I have this rich text box and I have four buttons one is speak pause resume and stop now I will double click my speak button here and I reach to the code for speak button click event but before that I need to include some namespaces so in I will go at the top here and I will write using system dot speech and second is using using system dot speech dot synthesis okay now once you have included these two namespaces just go to your button click event and at the top of your function for button click event write speech synthesizer and create an object for that so reader for example new speech synthesis and bracket and bracket closed and in now in your speech button click event write if bracket and bracket closed and in here just give the name of your rich text box which is this rich text box whose name is rich text box one double click once again if my rich text box is not equal to null rich text box dot text I will write here so rich text box dot text is not equal to null then in this if condition what I will do is first I will dispose the reader object if any process is going on so I will write 
reader dot dispose bracket and bracket closed and then I will create a new object reader is equal to new speech synthesis so speech synthesizer and then I will write reader dot speak asynchronous and what I need to speak whatever is there in the rich text box so, so just copy this rich text box one dot text and pass it as an argument in reader dot speak async and then if this condition is true then my speaking process will start else if my rich text box is empty then I can show the message message box dot show what message I want to show is please enter some text post okay so I can show this message if my reader or rich text box is empty so this is my speak button code now I will make the code for pause resume and stop so double click this pause button first and in here I will write if condition and in this if condition I will write reader is not equal to null then I will go inside this condition and I will create one more condition if my reader dot state is equal to speaks speech not speech but synthesizer state dot speaking so if my reader state is speaking state then I will pause my reader reader dot pause bracket and bracket closed now for resuming just go to the form just double click this resume button and in here I will copy the code from my pause button click event same code and paste it here and I will change the state here so uh, this if condition will remain same if reader is not equal to null and then I will check the state if reader dot state is equal to synthesizer state is dot paused then I will resume so I will write reader dot resume okay and last the code for the stop action so I will write if my reader is not equal to null then I will dispose my pro process reader dot dispose and bracket in bracket closed now my program should work let's see if it's work it works perfectly or not so I will write something in the text box hi YouTube I 
I am back okay and let's try and run the program I will press the speak button first okay so it's working and now let me check the pause so my pause button is al also working now I want to resume my process or speaking so I will click resume okay so it's also working let me check the stop button also so my stop button is also working so in this way you can make a simple program for converting your speech to not speech but s converting your text to speech and y uh, you can improve this program to make a very good looking uh, project so just give some e effort and you will see the results so i hope you loved watching this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now